So you're Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. So long. What? They have a metal gear? Gear? Right. Take out that UMG and get them. Use blade mode to damage its armor. before it blows! Use your ninja run to deflect those shots! They swapped out the hydraulic cutter for a plasma cannon. Use the ninja run to dodge that plasma. The light rider, go for the light.
about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, a common purpose? All we're saying... Give war a chance! No! when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. <laughs> Get to waiting, huh? He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, just in... No. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Just dodged a bullet. 
All right, I'm heading for the refinery. Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself. Say, okay then, what's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> destroy you what good is an intellect if you can't use it your taunting is pointless exterminate Honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? <laughs> And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. 
And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. You ain't 
Sides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We all call it. Controlled by something greater. Memes. The DNA of the soul. They shape our world. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, all means all passed along. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives. A means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. Mm. The bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. Y you? Pain. This is why I fight. <laughs> You've lost your mind. Now you're just being nasty. <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Wanna know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. Nature! Yeah! <laughs> 
yourself shaving? You knew this would happen, didn't you? Well, you get your wish. Up to you now. So... <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. I don't care who thinks I'm right. And I've got cause enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. This is between us. And it ends here. Okay. Let's dance!
ID locked. A VT7 high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My vial indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. Too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Show me. How did they... Story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic. But nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! <sighs> we just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message!
little bastard. I don't have time for this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me.
Let's go! The hell are you thinking? Playing college ball, you know. That's some cushy Ivy League school. Beltway pansies. I could break the present in two with my bare hands. Don't fuck with this, Senator. What the hell are you? <laughs> Why don't you stick around and find out? person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! Where every man is free to think, to act for himself. Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats. Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit. <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America is diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! 
The weak will be purged, and the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! <laughs> so I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! What do you think? Oh, how the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. Shit insane! Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the wheat, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight, and steal, and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. Try and shut me up. You'll fail like the others. <laughs> <laughs>
Save your master. <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. You little fuck. Come on! Yeah! You're going down! Ah! 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 
done, Jack. Your dream dies with you. Oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. But at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it.